we have a kind of gothic, Halloween-y sort of jewelry and accessories clothing haul. So we're going to get right into it. We will leave all the links below to the shops, etc., so that you can acquire these for yourself if you like them. I'm Morticia. Gomez is behind the camera. If you're new, to subscribe. Check out all of our spooky playlists because we are the spooky channel with the most variety, I think, on YouTube. So. Without further ado, oh yes, also turn on spookifications if you're new so that you're aware of our daily terrors. We try to upload every day or at least every other day. First, I would like to start with, oh, my collar is in the way. This collar is like possessed. It keeps moving. All right. First, I want to start with this adorable little Halloween bat pendant, but for us, we would wear it all year. Well, me. I will wear it all year. If Gomez had one, he would wear it all year. Look how cute he is. He's a little, he jingles. The bat himself is a solid metal. He's 3D, a little fat bat ball. And he's got a little bell inside, so he jingles all the way. So I can be spooky for Christmas too. And there's the little glass beads on the top that are black and white here, nice faceted, pretty. And I put him on like a lace, just a lace ribbon under this choker. Oh, my choker's turning around. Everything's getting crazy because I'm doing a video and the world knows it. Okay, so he's got this cute little smiling face with the little vampire fangs, he's adorable. He came from Sonia McD Creations on eBay. She shipped him promptly, patted him well, and sent us a sweet little handwritten note thanking us, so that was very nice. And she's got very good prices. This was $8 and free shipping, you guys. So definitely check her out. We will leave her link below. And I just love him. He makes me feel so spectacular and Halloween-y. And he's actually one of the cuter pieces that I really do like. Because cutesy usually doesn't do it as much for me. But sometimes when they have the right personality, it does. Right, Gomez, darling? Yes. He's adorable. So, so jolly. Adorable. He is. I love his little mouth. And the next piece... This actually is from a company called Zecco's. I got it from Walmart.com, but you can order it just from Zecco's site. It's from their Gothic line, so it's perfectly fitting in this hole. It reminds me of like a Victorian feel. They call it um, a flame frame. It's the Raven, as in Edgar Allan Poe, the Raven, nevermore. And he's sitting in what they call a flame frame, and I guess I kind of see how it's sort of flame shaped, but it reminds me of one of those fancy Victorian mirrors. And so it kind of reminds me of a cameo, like a raven cameo, but it's one piece and it won't come apart. Like some cameos, the top will, the like picture will want to come off the backing or whatever. This is one solid piece and it's pewter that's been gunmetal to look darker. It has a little black onyx here in the bottom of the frame. And the raven is sitting with like one wing lifted and then his body is like here and he's got one claw on the onyx. And I just love him. It's a unique kind of position, and I love the Victorian frame. I'm trying to hold it up and move my hand out of the way. And it's a good pea, a solid size. It's about two inches by an inch and maybe a third. Very nice. This was only $15, you guys. And it came on a chain, and I just put it on this velvet ribbon because I wanted to change the length. But it's a nice chain. Let's see if I can find it. This is the chain it came on. Just a like plain chain. And it's fine, it's just that again, I needed a certain length and when I put it on ribbons and whatnot, I can change the length even like a fraction if I need to, just tie a different size knot. So, um, and I like the Victorian look of the ribbon. So, that is lovely and that was from Zeko's and it came packaged really nicely. I wanna show you guys. It came with a cute little card that talks about the raven that I will have Gomez show and read. Here's the back of it, all black and red. Our favorite colors. Yes. And the writing itself here is white on black background and it says, Children of the night, through the shadows, in secret places, we move silently. The invisible, the preternatural, our power cloaked in darkness and sheathed like a dagger. We dwell in eternity and are everywhere forever your dark servants we are the children of the night and then the raven can you hear me call can you see my wing shape against the dark window i summon you to night pleasure sweet and potent for you alone my gift is secret knowledge from darkness comes delight Mm, I hear how sexy everything sounds in that Russian accent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so fortunate. <laughs> Just imagine, like, even if you're having a fight, he sounds hot, so you're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Actually, we don't, but it's all good. And this is the bag. It came in inside of that. 
beautiful red. And what is really cool is, you know how they'll give you like they as in whoever you buy jewelry from, you get jewelry in these little chiffon like kind of wimpy pouches that eventually break but they're oh so cute. This one's a nice thick kind of satin pouch with thick ribbons and it's really nice. I was like, ooh, I can keep using this. So very cool. Very nice, and again, for $15, I mean, like, I love it. I love getting good prices and good quality. Um, so that's the happiest I get when I get that, and I've done that a lot in this haul. Sometimes I will, of course, buy more expensive stuff when it's worth the quality, so it's all good. The next item I am going to make a bracelet out of, but right now it's a ring, and I wanted to leave it as it actually came. The company is called Karis Time, and... Um, I will link it below. I think this ring was like $16. It's got a stretchy band. That's how the band looks. And it's an octopus ring, steampunky looking with a clear stone here. Um, of course, we're using it for Cthulhu. And I used part of the, all the beads here and then um, put little bronze beads between for Gomez's when I made his into a bracelet. We will insert a picture. You want to do that instead of trying to show it while you have the camera? Yes. Okay, we'll insert a picture. That is the bracelet, and then I'm going to do that eventually with this one, but it's nice. It came in about a week, I think, and it came in a really nice ring box. It almost feels like it's covered in satin, so it's nice and sturdy, and then it had even bubble wrap and packaging inside the ring box, and then the little velvet part here where it sits. So it was very nicely done, and well done. So that's cool. And it's a comfortable ring. It's large, but it's lightweight, and it's comfortable if you want it for a ring, and the band is stretches, so it fits different sizes easily. So that's cool if that's what one wants it for. And the next ring I have is here. This came from Cheap Bids For You. We have done um, hauls from them before on eBay. Well, we've done hauls featuring them. And they're really awesome. They have obviously really low prices, very good quality. This is sterling plated and it doesn't come off. It's a spider web with a spider standing on it. But what I like about it is spider on web, but it's one solid piece. So it's not one of those chintzy pieces where they're made separately and then put together where eventually the spider comes off the web. This is all one piece it's going to stay on. And it's such nice 3D detail. This is a size 7, and I usually wear a 6, so if you order from this company, 9 out of 10 times you need a size, um, one size larger than you usually wear. One of the rings was actually a loose 7 on me, and I had to get a ring guard for it. But the smallest size they have is a 7, so if you wear a 6, get a 7, you don't have a choice, but it will usually fit like a 6. And they actually, I showed this ring before, but I have to show it again because Gomez just got one. I finally got him to get one to match me because it's like a unisex. It's my favorite, one, my second favorite bat ring. My first is from Alchemy Gothic. But this was also the same price as the spider web. I love it because it looks like it has runes on the wings and he's got such a cute face. One of the reasons I got this little pendant, they remind me of each other with the mouth. So, so cute. And he's awesome, and he just screams Halloween and squeak, squeak, and I love him. And he was also $7.99. $7.99 for these rings, and they're not crappy, you guys. They're so sturdy, yet lightweight and comfortable. And they have such unique designs. Like, I haven't seen anything like either of these. Like, a lot of the spider web rings are just so big. Um, and this curves around the finger. It's so much nicer. I love it. Great quality, great prices. Again, I love to not spend much, get good quality. It keeps me shopping and buying more and I love it. So, the next piece is from Amazon. The background music is fitting. This is Phantom of the Opera Mask. It was actually a key ring. It just had the key ring right on top here and I just took it off and put a link for a pendant um, and put it on the chain because they, um, Amazon themselves, not this seller, is selling a different um, pendant of Phantom of the Opera from the same seller that I got my Audrey 2 pendant from that we reviewed a while back, Lucina K. And it's really nice too, but it's a little smaller. And I like bigger, so this one's probably like almost two inches by an inch. And so I wanted the bigger one. And I read the reviews, and people were saying how sturdy it was and bigger than they thought. And it's only $10. It's good pewter, so I thought, hmm, for $4 less, I can get an even bigger one. And the other one is a good deal too. Um, so I'll probably link them both if I can find it and remember because I didn't buy the other one so I may or may not but I did buy the Audrey pendant from that same seller for Audrey too, Little Shop of Horrors and it's really well made so anyway if you want it smaller that exists too and I just love this it's the mask and profile of the Phantom I got this for probably a weird reason I do like Phantom of the Opera but my second favorite gremlin of all the gremlins is Phantom Gremlin and we did a customization of him and gave him his mask and cape and everything I will link that below too 
but I love gremlins and I always wanted like gremlin jewelry and all I'm seeing is like pictures or like um, clay like kind of jewelry and I just think that's gonna break and I don't want it um, so I'm not really seeing any like metal gremlins jewelry or even like um, acrylic or something and I want a striped pendant so bad and so I thought this is the closest I'm gonna get to a phantom pendant because he has the same mask and for me this is phantom gremlin and I love it so that's that's that now let's take a brief jewelry break because I want to like space this haul out and make it lovely and interesting for everyone. This is an item of clothing that I recently got and it's unisex so Gomez and I can share it. Um, it's a lovely jacket and it's velvet. It's not too thick but it will keep you warm especially if you have long sleeves under and you just want a jacket. This is sturdy solid velvet. Um, it's black. I love this embroidery. I'm going to go here Gomez so you can show that while I'm standing. Um, I love the embroidery here where the buttons are, and the buttons are awesome because not only are they kind of gothic old-fashioned, but they're sturdy. They're not going to come off because they're these little knots of cloth that go through the buttonhole. It's not a real button that's going to come unsewed. It's better and more sturdy. My nice heavy velvet cloak that was very expensive fastens this way. It was from Pyramid Collections. So I'm going to unbutton it. Come on. That's how sturdy it is. It wants to stay buttoned. That's good, though. Actually, my nails aren't helping because they're kind of making everything harder. Okay, so that's it unbuttoned. I have my little corset top and a lace skirt, and that's what I'm wearing it with. And it's long. It comes, like, almost down to my knees. So it's a nice long jacket, and I think it would look good with a cute short skirt or something long. Or if you're a guy, you don't have to wear a short skirt with it, okay? You can wear pants. I think Gomez would look really good with, like, a silk shirt that he has and his black pants. He has a nice dark blue silk shirt. What do you think, darling? I like. And so this uh, fits up to a 42 or 44. So I know Gomez can fit it. And I can definitely fit it. And the only thing I don't like, I'm going to take them off, but I wanted to leave them on for the review. On the collar, uh, on either side, there's these little like rubber-looking um, gothic crosses. And I don't like it. And I'm going to take it off eventually. I'll probably have to cut it off because it's stitched on. But anyway, it looked like it was just going to be something you could pull off, but it's not. It's actually stitched on, so I'll have to cut it. But I did want to say that's even on in a very good, sturdy way. And the reason I'm telling you how good and sturdy this is, other than that I'm a good reviewer, is that it's actually supposed to be a Halloween costume. But you could see a jacket like this as good of a quality for way more. I got this on sale at a local costume shop for $10. It was amazing. It was 20 some, but it was on sale. It was lovely. And it's called Warlock Rising. So maybe it's like a warlock who's now a vampire or something. But I will try to look it up and put it online for you. Um, there are Halloween costumes that are crappy and fall apart and have chintzy buttons that come off and all this stuff. And that's why I wanted to bring that up. If you shop and look really at the make and design, you can find really nice outfits and clothes that are masquerading as Halloween costumes and they're way cheaper than you would get them online from somewhere like Killstar or something because Killstar is going to sell them for a lot more because they're a designer brand and if you're trying to sell a Halloween costume you know people aren't going to buy 70 bucks for a jacket. They're not. They just want it for a night if they're just like you know Halloweeners that aren't like us that don't keep it creepy all year. Okay, so. A lot of people who are into gothic and creepy decor will household shop for ha around Halloween time for the decor, but a lot of people don't think to clothing shop too because you get really good prices. And again, you will see some crap costumes that are going to fall apart after the first night of wear. You don't buy those. You look and see like this if the make is sturdy and good and everything else. You just take it and look. I've gotten some beautiful dresses that I wear and no one goes, what you going around in a Halloween costume for, girl? Because no one knows. It just looks like a period gothic dress, and it's great material, and this jacket is going to be another lovely addition to that. So I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. And now a couple more items of jewelry before we segue back into clothing, which is not Halloween, but it was on eBay. So Now this is, I have mine as a pendant already. I have to put a, a jump ring on Gomez. It's a cute skull bottle. I love it because it screams like apothecary and alchemy and creepy. The um, top is the skull, it's metal. And then the little vial is actually big enough that you can put stuff in it if you want. It's not like tiny, I can stick my finger in there. So that's cool. And this was like $5 and some at Craft Warehouse. And if you don't live in Oregon, you probably don't have a Craft Warehouse, but you could probably find something similar online. Look at the cool designs on his head. So that's why I wanted to show you because if you put in skull vial, Different things come up that aren't this, but eventually this would probably come up. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there for you. Um, next is from Amazon. It's my 
second favorite bat bracelet of the year. Hopefully I can move all my other stuff out of the way so Gomez can get a good angle. It's actually a bat pendant when you buy it from Amazon. They call it vintage retro um, silver bat pendant. I love the way his wings are slightly lifted. They're not even like totally straight and static. I love it. And his beautiful little face and his body. It's like the fur and all the detail. But I wanted a bat bracelet always that kind of stands up more on the wrist the way the spider bracelets do. And so many bat bracelets just curve around the wrist. So I made a couple that will stand up, including this one. It has um, like the metal loops that hold it onto the chain, or in this case, the bracelet, are made onto the bat wings. So they're not going to swing and move. They're not links. It's very well made. And this was like $10 on Amazon. And then I just took it off the chain and put it on a ribbon and used a bead for a slide, kind of like the way Alchemy Gothic did on its Viennese ribbons. I took the idea and used it shamelessly. Thank you, Alchemy Gothic. I'm not selling it, so it's all right. And this is mine, and I love him. So if you want to make your own or you just want him as a pendant, he came from Amazon, and I will leave the link below. And the other bracelet I have, I um, showed this in a Michael's Halloween haul, but it wasn't really halloween -y, so I wanted to showcase it again here. It is a nice autumn gold. I love that for autumn. And it's got four quartz crystal kind of shards on it. And these are cool because they all have little phantoms in them. Well, three out of four do. And a phantom is all gothic. And it fits this lovely phantom of the opera thing because it's phantoming. But really, it's like a crystal within a crystal. It's very cool. And this has great energy. And it was $10 at Michael's for a solid cuff, you guys, with four big crystals on it. These are like an inch, almost two inches long, an inch and a half, two inches because they graduate in size. There are two on the sides that are smaller, and they taper to two more in the middle that are slightly longer. Very awesome. A double band here that's connected. So it's a cup, slightly size adjustable. Has this, um, just slides off like that. So how lovely is that? It's very lovely. Yes, I know. And I'm wearing it with my bronze Elvira bat bracelet. That's my sister's bird in the background. He's visiting. And let us see what else is in the box. What else is in the box? One more piece from Craft Warehouse that, again, you can probably find online. I think AliExpress might have these. But this was $5 from Craft Warehouse. It's a book pendant, but it's a larger book pendant than I'm used to seeing. And it's just a plain book. It opens like that, and you can put stuff in it like the little coffin boxes. I still have a nice card because I need to take it off and make it into a pendant. But I just got bronze jump rings, so that's lovely. And it's like hangs by the corner, so it would hang like that when you wear it. Instead of like upright like that, it'll hang by the corner, which is cool. And it's just a plain like bronze book. It looks old. It has an old book look. And that's the other side. And I really like it. I like it a lot. Gomez has a book locket with Cthulhu on the front, and he has a Necronomicon book locket from Restyle, and I have the Harry Potter Book of Monsters book that is not a locket. That's a nice heavy pendant that we reviewed a while back from Noble Collections. And now I have this one. So now we each have two book pendants. How adorable is that? And they're all different from each other, so... Now, that is all the jewelry. We have one more item of clothing. If there are any guys that are uncomfortable with underwear, even if it's not sexy and it's just more cute, go away. It's not like lingerie or anything. What it's for, because I'm a practical Victorian lady, is when you wear a short skirt, or even not a short skirt, that's kind of billowing, and you're having a windy day, and the wind blows up, sometimes you don't want your underwear to show, if you're not an exhibitionist. But, what you can do is, I got these on eBay for $2 a piece, you guys. They're silk, they're stretchy. I'm a size medium, and they fit. I got, I think, like a large, because they're from China. But they're long enough that they come down on your legs. So these are like kind of like Victorian bloomers style, sort of. But they're so cute. They're like I said, they come down to like our upper thigh, and they have this cute lace. And you can get different colors, but you know I got black. And if I am walking and my skirt blows up, I don't mind if people see this underwear. That's why I was actually just going to be willing to show it on a video because I would be kind of self-conscious if they were like little sexy underwear. Only Gomez gets to see those. But these are cute, they're not like granny panties, but you know, if your skirt blows up and they're seen, it's not like your little sexy underwear, you know? So I'm comfortable wearing a skirt on a windy day with these. So I will link these below. They're silk, they're good quality, they're thick, nice thick lace on the bottom. And um, these are brand new, I haven't worn them, so I wouldn't show those. 
I'm still like, I had to talk myself into showing underwear on a video, but I was just like, okay, these are useful. People need to know that they can do this if you're short skirt conscious and you didn't feel like wearing stockings that day or whatever's going on. So, um, just really good for $2 a pair. It's really worth it and they fit well and I love them. So that's those. And again, $2 a pair, free shipping. So I have like eight of them. No, I have four of them for $8. All right. So that was that. I'm sure we'll be doing Halloween hauls soon and we will be doing a steampunk clothing and accessories haul soon. Not that some of this wasn't kind of steampunky, but it's gonna be steampunk all the way. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed and until next time. Stay spooky, my friends.